back out here at Blades Hair and Nail Salon for the sixth annual Cutathon to benefit St. Jude. Stop out here until 12 o'clock today and 100% of all proceeds to benefit the St. Jude Foundation. For more information, stop out here at 241 Madigan Drive or phone them at 732-7213. Josh Komnick along with the furniture guy, Jake Johnson, and uh, Mr. Dean Colby has stopped in yeah. out at Blades here, the tournament director at the Lincoln Park District. Morning, guys. How you doing? Good. Baseball, softball. This this is the guy that you need to see in order to uh, to get your young one involved, Dean. And uh, sounds like things are going well. Things are going well. We are in, right in the middle of our registrations for not only boys baseball but uh, girls softball for the coming season. Mm -hmm. uh, ages starting at five years old and going up through age 14. So pretty much uh, anything from your preschooler up to and through junior high, uh, we have a league and a team for them. Good, good. And, man, it's, it's, I know Jake played, I played, uh, you know, remembering back young baseball is, is five always been, I mean, it just seems really young, but uh, it seems like more and more park districts, leagues, tournaments are, are becoming younger and younger. Um, yes, it is. You know, years back and, and when you and, and Jake were playing, uh, that would have been strictly a t-ball type sure. league. Um, but we have, as kids are getting more, it seems somewhat more competitive at right. younger levels. Uh, the need has arisen for us to actually um, offer league instructional leagues mm -hmm. at a younger age. And we started, oh, probably three, four years ago now, we started with a five and six year old. We used to wait till they were seven to start them. But we started with the fives and sixes. They actually, at five and six, they play co-ed together. Okay. Um, and it's basic fundamentals. Um, they're, they don't, at that age, we don't even keep track of the score during the games. Sure. It's more teaching them how to play, uh, how to, you know, the basic fundamentals mm -hmm. of the game and trying to teach them sportsmanship and what it's all about to be a team. How long you been out uh, at the Park District helping out with uh, basically every uh, everything sports related? Well, it's funny. When I came in, uh, number two was asking me that same <laughs> question. And uh, I had to think back. And I got involved back in uh, 1998. I okay. started uh, uh, with the programs out there and uh, in a volunteer role mm -hmm. at that time uh, going through and just kind of uh, it's been a passion and just emerged over the years and as things have evolved uh, there's been more opportunities sure. uh, for me to be involved with it that way cool um, Sounds good. and with the new triplex that was put up a, a few years back out there we na we now have the opportunity to host tournaments bring in teams um, actually uh, bring in people to the community to help you know the economy sure. of Lincoln and Logan County that way so we talked about that. Uh, you, you hear, uh, you know, you read things about some soccer things going on as far as tournaments going on. What kind of tournaments do you have scheduled for this year, and, and how have the response been uh, as far as getting teams from from out of uh, out of Lincoln and Logan County in? Uh, we've done very well. The uh, Lincoln Park District itself will be sponsoring uh, three girls softball tournaments this year. We have one in May that will be for the uh, 10 and under and 12 and under age groups one in June for 14s and 16s. And then we also are doing at the end of September a fall classic, hmm. which will be for 12s and 14s. Uh, that will be normally teams that get together right after their season ends. And in August, early September, they form for the following year. And this gives them kind of a kickoff to see where they're at uh, for that. That's what the Lincoln Park District has as far as softball tournaments. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Lincoln Chill will also be sponsoring their normal uh, tournament again this year in June, and it will be also uh, for all four age groups uh, on the same weekend. Uh, Baseball-wise, uh, the Lincoln Heat Tournament just keeps going and going. will again be the uh, fourth weekend in June. Mm -hmm. So lots of tournament action coming up. Uh, one of the things also uh, that we're looking at with uh, the women's softball league that's been going for years we're bringing back men's softball this year too out at the park district okay. so there's uh signups going on for that right now jake's a home run hitter jake's a uh, jake looks like a home yeah. run hitter um, Le from from the left side you, you actu know? actually i'm a triple sitter oh <laughs> 
You know, when I look at Jake, I think of John Cruck. But there I'm, you go. I'll just I leave like it that. At that. I so. like that. And, and Cruck was a triples hitter himself. Well, I, uh, I like to think of myself as a uh, you know young Kirby Puckett. <laughs> Uh, you got, <laughs> as you talked about, softball, which was a, uh, you know, I remember playing out the Park District um, on softball teams, and um, the interest is definitely is definitely there for, for men of, you know, our age. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so those sign-ups are also going on. One of the things I want to kind of segue into are we're nearing the end of the sign-ups for the boys and the girls uh, because it culminates next Saturday we actually have our uh, in conjunction with our normal evaluations for uh, team draws the park district along with the logan county sports commission is sponsoring the first ever major league baseball pitch hit and run competition i've uh, seen that here in logan county uh, split up into different age groups we'll be starting at 8 a.m with the seven and eight year olds the nine and ten year olds will uh, begin at 10 a.m and then the 11 through the 14s will be from 1 to 3 in the afternoon uh, going on out there. Uh, three different uh, uh, dimensions going on. We'll have the pitching, the hitting, and the running mm -hmm. with uh, winners in each age group of each class of competition. So it's possible that we could have three individuals from each of our age groups going on to the sectional competition, which will be held in Riverton in May. Um, and the whole common culmination will lead up to winners participating at Bush Stadium in July. Nice, so. nice. And and as you said, the first year for this, and and I'm assuming you were pretty integral in, in getting that competition here. I last uh, actually November was looking through some things that we could do, and also with involvement with the sports commission, things that uh, they could be involved with, and. Uh, Sam Knox had just had the punt, pass, and kick competition uh -huh. at the high school for the first time and looked up and said, well, what else can we do? And I remembered as a, even myself as a kid, and that's going you know, a lot farther <laughs> back than you guys, with that competition going on and found out what we needed to do. I signed us up, uh, got all the information, and we are now an official sponsor for Logan County for Cool, that. cool. Well, another thing to bring for, for our youth, uh, you know, sports related wise, Absolutely. I'm sure you're you're pitching to try and throw the hardest, uh, maybe hitting the farthest and accuracy running the on pitching. Good. Yeah, we want we want more for them to be able to get it in the strike zone right. than how hard they throw it. I in agree. The strike zone. I agree. And then may, what? Hit it the farthest, maybe. Um, hitting will be on as far as uh, distance and accuracy, right. making sure that, you know that they're uh, fair balls and sure. and that so on. And then the running competition is a. Uh, it's speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's pretty straightforward. We start them out at second base and see how fast they run from second base, round third, and get into home. Yeah, and make so, sure you hit third. And make sure you hit yeah, third. You always got to hit third to to, uh, to score the run. But, uh, Dean, anything else going on? When can they sign up for this? How much does it cost? Um, all that kind of stuff that goes in with the uh, pitch, hit, and run. Okay, pitch, hit, and run is absolutely free. There is nice. no cost, no obligation at all. Okay. Uh, you bring your, your son out um, from ages 7 through 14. Um, they can compete. There's no obligation. They don't have to be a part of our um, program out there. As long as they're a Logan County resident, they can come in and do that. We are also, our in-house program for baseball will be having kind of an open house that day because a lot of kids just don't know if they want to play or not. Sure. And mom and dad then, you know, with the economy the way it is, don't know if they want to make the commitment or to do that if their son or daughter is not, you know, sure that they want to do that. Correct. Right. Um, so this is an opportunity for them to come out, see what we're all about, see what we do. Our coaches are going to run simulated practices so they can see what they're up against, maybe you know, uh, a simulated game mm -hmm. while they're going on. So we will also have uh, our people out there able to sign them up that day if they're interested and, and say, you know, I really like what I'm doing. I want to be a part of this program. And mom, I want to play this year. Or dad, I want to play this year they'll be able to sign them up right then and there. Right. Cool. 
And the uh, registration, when does that end for baseball and softball? We actually extended it. it. It officially ended last Saturday. We have extended registrations to make sure that we don't miss anybody out. We will be doing our team draws a week from Tuesday, so pretty much a week from Monday. We never turn a child away sure. regardless. Uh, if somebody comes in in May and we have a spot open, we're going to put that kid on. Right. But as soon as we get teams filled up, then we may have a waiting list. So I'm going to tell you uh, a week from Monday is going to be it. But, you know, I'm, I can't turn kids yeah. away. You know give that, me a call. So. Yeah, give me a Dean, call. Dean, any, any uh, phone number stuff that they can reach you at to get a hold of, not only for the baseball and softball registration, but also that uh, – a pretty cool pinch hit and run competition. Um, they can either get a hold of me at the Park District at 732-8770, or if it's easier for them, they can send me an email at colby300 at comcast.net. Colby300 at comcast.net. Dean, we want to thank you, Tournament Director at the Lincoln Park District, for uh, basically everything going on out at the, at the Park District for baseball, softball, all that stuff going on over the summer. So, Dean, thanks for stopping out, and, um, you know, hopefully we, uh, we get some people out there for that pitch hit and run thing that, that thing's pretty cool i appreciate it thanks guys no problem we're going to take a quick commercial break out here at blades hair and nail salon stop out you got till 12 o'clock today to uh to benefit the saint jude's 100 percent of all proceeds go to saint jude so stop out here wlc in 96.3 and wlc in We're out here at Blades Hair and Nail Salon, 241 Madigan Drive in Lincoln. Come out and help support the St. Jude Children's Hospital Research today at Blades. The sixth annual cut-a-thon as every talented stylist is on hand now until noon, offering haircuts with 100% of all proceeds to benefit St. Jude. Stop out here at Blades or phone them at 732-7213 or 732-6293. Josh Komnick, along with the furniture guy. Jake Good Johnson turnout. Look yeah, at this. nice. Even on a, you know, on a on a you know rainy, rainy day. Rainy day. Uh, but anything to uh, right. help benefit a great cause. We even got kids out here helping That's right. clean up the duties around here. That's right. Know? And also we've got uh, Brett Robinson, not only a stylist out here at Blaze, but the coordinator for sponsorship for the Peoria, I'm sorry, Lincoln to Peoria St. Jude run, which I've taken part in, and is a uh, very good time. Brett, uh, not only thanks for coming in. I know you're a employee or a stylist Correct. here at Blades, but uh, you've gotten into this running thing, not only just as a uh, as a runner for the St. Jude's, but you've uh, been in several long distance runs now. What got you going here doing the St. Jude thing um, and now becoming uh, kind of the guy that has to go out and get some of the sponsorship because it does take some money to uh, put on an event like this? Well, your wife is the, <laughs> is the one who really got me interested in doing it. I tried to do it my first year. It was, it was, it was fun. Yeah. The hardest, to, to go out and do the running itself is not hard at all. Right. You don't have to go out and be a marathon runner. All you got to do is be able to run a mile, mile right. and a half at the very most. And it doesn't have to be fast. But uh, just to get out there and raise money for the kids, is just, it's just an awesome cause. There's not a better cause on the planet, in my opinion. No, a lot of people think, I, I've brought it up to many people, my friends, that I try to get involved in this, and they, I can't run more than two miles at a time. Well, you don't have to run, literally, from Lincoln to Sprint to, uh, to Peoria. There's... And talk about the run and what goes on during this um, thing where you can take breaks and all that kind of stuff. Well, during the day, uh, we start at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. at the Lincoln Police Station. We run through. All runners are expected to run through every town that we go through. Right. We go through. We run through Lincoln. Then we run through Hartsburg, Emden, uh, Delavan. Mm -hmm. We go through Tremont, uh, Groveland, yep. East Peoria, and then to the Civic Center. Yeah. The farthest at any any one part in time is I, I think is it may, it may be a mile right. at best, and it's a, it's not a fast run. It's a very it's actually a very slow jog. It's almost a, a fast walk. Mm -hmm. But uh, you, you you the hardest part about doing the whole thing is just getting out there and raising the money. Right. You don't have to necessarily run. You if if you want to get off the bus and run a quarter of a mile, get back on the bus. You don't have to run the rest of the day. Sure. Just be out there and support everybody else that is running. That's what it's all about is, is raising money, and you're on uh, the committee to get keep this thing from Lincoln to Peoria going. Of course, there's tons of locations where they run from. We're talking Moline to Peoria, Memphis to Peoria. That's Memphis, Peoria, Tennessee. Peoria to, or Chicago to Peoria, Chicago St. To Peoria. Louis to Peoria. Every, I mean, you know, Bloomington, Springfield, um, Mason City. I think there's they've got runs from everywhere. 
but the ultimate goal is ending up in Peoria when, when you finally get there. Uh, I've played in a lot of major basketball games. Uh, it's about the high school level, some big-time baseball games. And when you run into that crowd at the Civic Center, I, I don't know that there's a better feeling. Um, no, it, it'll tear you up every time. thousands of people, just thousands of people there uh, cheering you on. And, and when you get there, you're dog-tired at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. It's hot. And, and then all, all of a sudden, you almost – you all snap into where you just woke up, and it, exactly. it's something that you you can you can instant you can almost rush. sprint right into the so instant so, adrenaline yeah. rush. So it, it's been cool. I've been a part of it for a couple of years. You've been a part of it, and it, and it's a thing. Anybody that wants to get involved, how who do they get a hold of? Uh, how much money do they have to raise? And talk about the money. It is a sum of quite a bit amount of money, but when you're talking about St. Jude and you find some people. Uh, it's usually no problem. Usually, okay, each runner has to raise $750 in order to run. It's, it seems like a large sum of money, mm -hmm. but when you start talking about St. Jude's, right. everybody, a anybody who is anybody, once they hear the name St. Jude's, they know that it's going to an awesome cause. Right. So they generally whip out, whip out the checkbook, and you can get a rather large donation relatively easily. Sure. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just... I, it's definitely something that people, I, I think, before they would, I don't know, talking about this, but pass. It's something that they, not only if you don't go run, go look at it. I mean, the first year. Oh, yeah, just go come were, down to Peoria and watch. Our kids were young, and, and Vanessa did it, and we just went and took the stroller and just walked around and watched. And they, I mean, literally, there's thousands of people there. That, that, that I think WFMB, the, the Peoria station, is there doing it on time. They have the live telethon. Uh, of course, they feed you the meals and the spaghetti and yeah, uh, the, sp the yeah. spaghetti and beer dinner is awesome. You, you will need it once you're done with uh, <laughs> with that. So. Re reload carbs that you just burn off. Yes, yes. I think the first year I was able to do maybe 15 miles total. I know you were up by the 40 range. No, I did only the first year. I did only about 30. Oh. The second year I did 33. Last and year I was going for a goal of 40. I only got to 33. Well, it's a long. This being the third year, I don't know how many I'm going to go for. Right. But it we'll is have, what it is. We'll have fun we doing it. We will have fun doing and it. And I'll be doing it this year, and, and also I'll be uh, phoning Jake back at the sports show while I'm running, or taking a break probably, more than likely, of calling Jake and letting him know the progress of the St. Jude run, how many people we got. Hopefully we get a ton of people up. Um, it's, a, it's a great cause. I've even got my 16-year-old daughter interested in doing it. Nice, so nice. It'll be a good time. So anybody out there, you can always stop at Blades. We can get you information here about the St. Jude run. Um, and anybody else phone number that you can think of off your head that we can contact? Kathy Crane or mm -hmm. Jennifer Brummett. Okay. Give them a call. We'll get you going. And uh, it's coming up here pretty shortly. So uh, start training and start raising that money for a, for a great cause. Brett, thanks for stopping by. And uh, go get your cut on. Thanks. All right. Jake, that's uh, pretty much done it so far. Wowzer. Yeah, pretty quick show. Yeah. We had a few things talked about. You know, it's always quick when the Cubs win for some reason. You know, it's, oh. it, the show goes quickly. And we'll see what happens. 12.05 today. Hmm. Right? Yeah. So Cubs, Cardinals. If the Cardinals win the next two. I won't, well, we won't even remember because it goes on <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. And by the time we do next Saturday. Next, I'll, next Saturday we will I'll have I'll to play the, uh, the anthem. Really? Hey, that's going to do it. We're out here at Blades, but they're here till noon. Come out here and get your hair cut. All the proceeds go 100% to St. Jude's. That's what we've been out here for all day. We'll be taking place. I'll be taking place in the run. I'm going to try and get the furniture guy, Jake, out there to take part in the run. Uh, what do you think? Can I do the run while doing the show? Sure. We can on, on cell phone. Do it from a uh, phone. I don't think I'm that talented. I can't walk and chew gum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's going to do it, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for calling in. We'll be back next Saturday. Uh, have a good weekend.